hi my loves welcome back to my youtube channel where i'm a closing and for today we'll be learning how to make a nyse camp shorts as you can see in this picture below this white shorts that will be learning how to cut and sew in this video so we are going to start off by folding the cloth by two now the length of this shirt is 18 so 18 plus 2 we are going to add we're going to be adding 2 inch sewing allowance so 18 plus 2 is 20 you see me i'm checking the 20 right now and our hip how do we get the flap we get the flap through the hip our hip is 46 we are going to, so we're going to divide our hip by 4 our hip is 46 46 by 4 that is um 11.5 then the one then we are going to add one inch for seam allowance so our flap now is going to be 12.5 i'm trying to get the measurement of our hip so 11.5 plus um one inch for the seam allowance you can see i've added one inch that is 12.5 checking myself so the 12.5 is our flap and if you want to cut a, a short or a trouser remember I'm trying to get our hip so that i will know how many inch allowance i'm adding for the flap by this ending this end part i'm going to get your 2.5 this 2.5 is the standard measurement you're going to get your 2.5 and make it a straight line make it straight so I'm trying to make the line straight. So remember how we got our 11.5. That 11.5 is our hip. So I'm going to get one inch after the line. Then curve it. That is our flap. And we got our flap by dividing our hip by four. Then one inch seam allowance. So for that flap side, that is where our hip is. Then I'm going to get our 11.5. For this, for cutting the front, because I'm cutting the front now. Man, there's no seam allowance for the front and because this trouser i'm putting elastic so my waist also will be 11.5 if it as i'm putting zipper then i'll get my waist measurement but because of this elastic so i'm getting my my hip and my waist is going to be the same thing and you see i also get the same thing down but that is not the measurement this is how i'm going to get it now the 11.5 into two that should be five and a half point two you chuck that part first so i've chucked it and our lap that is end part of our lap our lap is 21 how do we get our 21 we are going to divide the 21 into two so from that part that we we divide into two we we'll get our 21 into two is be five points five that is five and a half so you see what i did i've got five and a half here i got five and a half here Can say I'm trying to measure 5.5 plus 5 plus 5, and that is 11. 11 plus 11 is 22. Then after your flap, you come down by 5 inch. Then from that part that gets your flap, you enter it and enter the, not the normal hip part now. You will go down to the, to the lap. That's our 5.5 plus 5.5, that is, um, that is 21. That's what I did. So now from that hip part, I've already slanted down to the to the um lap part. You understand what I mean now? So this is me. I'm trying to cut it out. You can see where I'm cutting it. So you will not cut from that lap part, you will not cut from your hip measurement like we we measure in the first place. You will cut from your lap measurement. Now we have cut out the front. This is time to cut out the back. So from this, you have the back now. You have to add just like the way we did our two point five. But this time around, for the back part, it should be one point five. And for the side, you are going to add two in sewing allowance. You divide your fabric into two also. Okay, this is my one point five for the flap area. That's a 1.5. Then also your 
five. Remember, the way we added five for the front, I'm going to also add five at the back. So from that 1.5, you will slant it into the lap back. The same thing, this place will be cut off. That's our crotch. Then we are going to add two. All the same allowance is going to go to the back, not front. So you can see when I'm adding two two inch seam allowance for the back part, not the front. So I'm going to join it together. Now for this up part, that's um, cut part. Remember to add your one inch up. If your shoulder is not the lowest, please add one inch at that upper, then slant it back to the main measurements. So that's it. Now I'm going to cut it off. So we have cut out the back. So we have our front and our back for the shots right now. So we are going straight to the sewing machine. So we'll start by joining each flap first. Because I've joined, I'm joining this first flap, half inch, please. This is the second flap I'm joining now. This is the back flap. So after I join the two flap, you join both sides. You place one on one, then join it together. Half inch or so. Remember, this NYSC camp shot is not going to be having a pocket. Join the other side. So I'm doing so half inch or so. So after you're done with that, it's time to fold the down part. And remember, we added one and uh, two inch sewing allowance. So we are going to go in by one point five. You can see I'm using my pin, so it will be firm. So you are going and so. So we are folding one point five in. As you can see, the way the one point five is. Look at the end of this. The cloth is not equal. It should be like that. Now we are done with the first one, we are going to order to the second one. 1.5. Use your pin to hold it so it will be firm. Then you so look at the beginning. You can see it's not equal at the beginning. It does not mean you're on the right track, so it's that way. So it's so as seen 1.5. Now, if you're sewing the down part, you pin this like this as you're saying so. So, one will not be longer than one. Make it equal. Then you also sew your half inch. And see. So after we are done with that, so we'll go for our band. I've already cut my band. I cut my band just straight. I cut it. Um, the length is um, our hip is forty-six. I make it forty-eight. Then the width is four. Divide it into two. 
just fold it into two and you from oh. now if you want to join this bunch you open the back a little that means the back part of the trouser then it starts from that part you can see i've opened my a little you start for that part and fix the band now we're going to fix the band also by half inch remember we did the band four inch and now we are dividing the four inch by two we are going to get um two inch now and i'm saying by half inch now what is going to mean is um 1.5 and our band is one inch band so i'm making this 1.5 so that there will be space for the band to stretch so if you want to cut your band don't make it three inch so um, four inch is the best so that the band can stretch in the 1.5 and it will be easy for you to fix the elastic when fixing it so this is me fixing the band also now we're almost at the end part of the band okay we are true i want to cut out the SS. now this is how to fix your elastic this is my one inch elastic i'm going to get my safety pin i'll put my safety pin i'll put my safety pin inside the elastic as you can see then i'll close it back that is it then from the first part of the fabric as in the band parts the hole that is in the band here you can see then i'll start fixing my elastic into it i'll do this until it gets back to the other hole now this is me fixing my elastic you pass it continue passing until you come back to the other part Can see what I'm doing. As I said, you should not make your band with three. Four is okay. So you won't have any issue when passing it. So I finished passing it has come out. So I'm going to sew on it. I'm going to top stitch it so it won't flip off. Now I'm trying to arrange my band so it will fit in well with the waist. You are, you don't want to make the elastic too small, you don't want to make it too big. So you can see what I'm doing now. I'm trying to measure the waist. You can see I'm adding more. Our right, is 46. If you can make your band more than 20, it's okay. Because elastic is stretchy. So we are going to close back that back part that we opened so this elastic this place that is not smooth is going to be our back it should not be at the front please make it the back pass your elastic from the back not from the front so so this is the end result i've ironed and i've done my interlocking please like and subscribe thank you thanks for watching i'm closings. bye